in this bit that's got to go on the inside. Oh God, it's hard. That is in a bad way. This is the, the bit that I'm making that's got to go on the inside of that. But I'm making it on the outside so I can get all the pattern in here. I've finished wilding it up. That's going to go under there. I'm going to make a piece that goes in here, and then eventually I'm going to make the bottom bit that comes up over here, and then that'll be the little bit that goes inside. All that matches the shape of that. Obviously, this will be trimmed. Yeah, back soon. What I'm doing now, I've wilded these support brackets on so that the Injuries can go through, through there. I've just put some rust treatment around it. I've cleaned all of these. Still got the bottom one to do, but I'm working on the top one first. So that's all I've done so far. That's them ready to take the bracket that I'm making. And I'll show you when I've done some more. Tell you what, this making this is tricky. It's gotta go round up there. There yeah. Back shoulder. This is where I'm at with it. This is my side piece. Yeah. I've wilded all down there. I've now slit down in there. I've put a new piece in there. So I'm going to weld all down there. I've even lined up this little piece in there and I'm going to weld all down there, grind that flat. Then here I will be drilling the two holes where the hinges go through. So that's what I'm, where I'm at so far. I've even, made, I've even got the lip there ready for the top scuttle section to sit on. Oh, this is blooming hard, this is. <laughs> So when the reinforcement plate that I'm making, which is, hang on, this is the reinforcement plate that I'm making, that's going to go inside that post and weld it to the finger and then the metal will come down into there like that. So that's going to go inside that post. So that's where I am. I'll come back when I've welded that in to show you. But all of this is now solid. All the wild holes are lined up, so I'm in the right place. So this is really getting there now. I've still got the bottom plate one to make. So I'll get to that another, uh, next time. So yeah, there it is. I'll show you again when I've wilded that in and grinded it. But if you short though. That's it so far. I've got tech screw there. Strengtheners on the inside. All I've got to do is just make some metal that goes down here and over the top of this. This has all got to be cut out. Just need something to weld to here. But that's it so far. Welded it in there. I've just got to finish grinding it smooth. So I've even got the lip here. I've just got to make a lip going up here and then it's to come down over the top this is where the hinges will go but obviously this comes off and leaves the strength and a bracket inside because the inside's got to be welded to the car and then it should come off without it that's theory anyway I never want to, have to do anything like this again. As I say, I've got to do the other side. <laughs> I've got to do this again. Oh, it's solid. All the spot welds line up, so everything's in place. Ready for me to come out and next time. Take this off and weld the strengthener to the car itself. So that's it.
I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Right, that's that one made. I've got to get that on the car. This is the bracket that's got to be welded to the car. With this up here, and then these are the spot welds that go to this. And then there'll be spot welds in here, in there, that weld to this. And then I've got to make a little bracket that comes up around there. So I'll be back with you when I've done some more. I've got this one to do next. I'm going to make a plate in there. Make this bit that comes round and over. And then that's got to be welded to the car. Back to over. Right, this is what I'm starting on now. Making the this little strengthening plate. That's got to go to the bottom here. Right. Now, these go on here, yeah, but the problem is I had one that was rotten, gone, into the abyss, so I've got a bit of pipe here, same thickness, that was off a trampoline, I'm going to put that on there, cut a little section out, and, there's my, and that'll be my new piece. It goes on there, and then I'll save the rest for when, in case the other side needs some. So that's the plan, and I think the shorter one goes on this one, and the bigger one goes on there, if I believe right. Yeah, somewhere like that. Right, about with your short one. Making the bottom bracket now. Just got all that clamped in. I've bolted that through the holes. And now I've just got to make the little round frame that goes round here. And then it's spot welded to the side of this. But obviously this gets welded to the car first. Then that gets spot welded to the side of there once this gets put back on. What my plan is, is to get this done. Put the weld those onto the car. The top and bottom. And then I'm going to um, screw this to the body of the car. And then I'm going to put the doors on and make sure that the doors are level before I finalise everything. And obviously I don't want to weld this bit back on yet until I've done the sills. Because it would be easier to do the sills without this on. So there it is. And I'll get back to you when I've done some more. I'm enjoying this bit. So that's it. I'll show you again when I've done a bit more to it. Right, I've put these in, I've used that to hold this in so I can get all this straight, there's a bolt there, all my bracket in there is all lined up, well, my fingers are put on, I've put these here, I'm just about to repair this bit, if you open that, there's my new thing inside, that this spot welds to, I'm just about to put, make a new piece for here, so that's what I've been doing so far. All this is lined up, so obviously it's pushed in a little bit, but there'll be holes drilled down the side for the spot welds in here, there, down the sides here. Spot weld holes for my top bracket. Mm. I've just got to do some in here. That's what I've done so far. It's pretty strong. Hopefully, my door will stay up when I test fit it in a bit. I'll get back to you when I've done some more of that. Right, this is what I'm doing so far. That's all made. All the bracket down the side. Down the side. I'm now just making these top brackets here that will go and weld into there. And then that and then there's one at the bottom here. Which will come across and weld to that. And then this will be in. So that's what I've done so far. All in here. That's now got the new piece welded in. Yeah, I've just got to clean it up and put some more welds in. Oh look, there's got the new piece. All in there's getting clean. All I've got to do now is just weld all the way along here. Because I think this is where all the wing screws come through. There, there, and there. So. This will be getting cleaned up. There's only that little piece there that I've got to make across the bottom here, but I'll do that when it's bolted in. So that's it so far. Get back to that in a minute. 
Once I finish this, that bottom section, it's about to be shorter when I finish that. One bracket made, it's got all the weld holes there ready, so that'll be welded to that, right there. That's the bracket so far, I've just got to go and clean it up now with the grinder. I've got one more of them to make at the bottom down here, at the bottom, and then that'll be ready to be grinded, cleaned, primered, painted on the back side, and welded in. And then I'll be welding the top one in. So this is solid look. Absolutely. Solid. Pull the screw, the whole car moves. So proper shape. So inside, stop the, uh, the spot welds go for the sides. There. And the spot weld holes there. So, back with your short run. That's it so far. Just waiting to put the bottom one on. Still got a bit of grinding to do to that. Gonna make the top section that comes down here, over the top of there. But that's my own made bracket. All lined up, all spot holds ready. But I'm not, as I said, I'm not putting the outer bit on yet. I'm just gonna um, tack screw that on and test the door because obviously I want that to come off when I do the seal Get in there. Probably a bit shorter. Getting late now. I've uh, put some stone drip on that. I've put some rust treatment on that that I've made. This is in there. I've made that from scratch. There's the door holes. Door holes are in there. I've tacked that on in a few places and I'm going to fully weld it when I next get out because the weather's not going to be very nice this week. I'm going to stone chip that in a minute, let that dry a little bit. I'm going to put uh, I'll put this on temporarily, as you see, a new piece of metal at the bottom. It. That's where the spot welds will go. I've still got more work to do to this, but I'm not putting that on until I've put these outer seals on. Um, I've been working in there. That's the strengthener. That's all been made. I've got to put weld all the way down there, grind it, clean it. But I'm only tech screwing that on. I'm just going to tech screw it and then test fit the door and see if the door opens and shuts properly and uh, I'll get back to you when I've done that I'm really happy with this and the good news is well I think it's good news I've checked the other side because I wanted to make sure that the short one uh, round thing went on this side and the other side's not as bad I've still got um, most of this on the other side and I think there's still some of this left so I might not even have to make the whole one again So there's the strengthener. Strengthener. Solid. So that's it. I've had to make them from scratch. And that was a, I'm going to say, a bugger to do. But it turned out fantastic. I've welded a, that bracket there. And I made one at the bottom as well. So it's looking brilliant. So yeah, when I take the other eye post off, fingers crossed, all of them, however many, 
that most of these are still there because I know this one is right up to the end here so I might only have to make this end and I think I've got some of this left so I might have to repair it so it's going to be less work on the other side hopefully we can hope inside here has been painted inside there has been painted but I can get to that from inside anyway so I'll be back with you when I've tech screwed that on temporarily and place the door on and see if the door opens and shuts properly right, back shortly right that's tech screwed in door shut I've still got to do some adjustments because this is loose obviously it's not on as good as it's supposed to be so that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one hope you enjoyed Bye-bye.